okay so hello guys today we will talk about transactional messaging api that we have in marketing cloud somewhere in the start of 2019 salesforce marketing cloud launched another a new api for triggered sends uh, which was transactional messaging api using which we can you know do the transactional message sending sending just 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 the way we do uh, trans- we send transactional messages using triggered sends that we have in email studio under interactions okay so yeah the on- there are few difference between the classic email studio triggered send and the new transactional messaging api the first one is in the new transactional messaging api we can use event 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 notification service along with the api to get the status of the message or the status status of the email so if uh, let's say a email send fails you can send a notification to the management team or if the email send fails you can send you can instead send an sms to the customer okay so you can say, use a event notification service along with the api other than that uh, unlike the triggered a classic email studio triggered send uh transactional messaging api definition cannot be view you cannot view the definition into the marketing cloud okay so we will go ahead and create the definition now okay in the last video i discussed how do we generate an access token for the account okay i already have everything here i'll give you the link to the old video if you would like to see how do we generate the access token okay so that's how we generate the access token should be here yeah okay so here i have okay so this is the rest api code to create the definition transactional messaging api definition in the account so here i define that definition key for my transactional messaging uh this definition key would be used when we will fire this transactional messaging definition okay so status would be active you define the name here for for my this is a test so i just defined the name as transactional send test description you can define anything right for the description classification it means send classification and it is the here you need to define the external key of the send classification and you can find the send classification in email studio under admin so this is the external key for the send classification you that you need to provide here okay and in content in customer key you need to define the customer key customer key of the email which which you would like to send when you fire this triggered send you know sorry transactional send definition in subscriber you will define that list you know uh that external key of the list auto add subscriber would be true if you would like to add the subscriber when you fire that you know transactional messaging api and update subscriber would be true if you would like to update if it already exist okay you can set it to true if you want to if you would like to track the link okay so we need to define the authorization code again okay go into the headers should be key should be authorization the value should be error space the access token go here fire it off again descending the request okay so the definition has been created okay good the request id is this so the ref- definition the transactional api definition has been created now we would use this definition that and this definition key to fire off the send cool let's see okay so now i will fire off a triggered send using the transactional api definition that we have created cool so the format should be json okay the endpoint should be this in the tenant endpoint okay in the in this endpoint you sh- you need to define a unique identifier for the for the api call in if if you are using postman uh, 
if you don't want to define a unique identifier manually every time you can simply include GUID GUID and if you're using PHP you can use random function to generate a unique identifier every time at the time of you know when you call this okay so let's see uh, definition key we picked it from the definition key that we you know provided while we, when we were creating the definition recipient we define the name email address sorry define the contact key email address attributes in attributes we need to define if you had any personalization string in the email content that you defined in the definition so this is this was the customer key of my content this email which I have available in my account has two personalization strings so I'll have to define the value for those personalization string otherwise it, it will error out okay so first personalization string was PTO name and the other one was PTO email I have defined the value for both okay hopefully I'll just define the this token in the headers you know I'll generate a new access token because after every 20 minutes it expires so let's get a new one now hopefully it should work okay it worked there was zero error so the email has been triggered and I think in, in even in hardly in half a second uh, the receiver receives the transaction email triggered by transaction transaction messaging API okay so uh, if you have any question please feel free to post in comments uh, next video I will do uh, you know about how do we fire an entry event in the journey right how you can insert a contact using and using a rest api call and enter and you know insert that contact into a journey directly okay thank you that's it for today thank you have a good day bye